Ja, herzlich willkommen zurück. Weiter Welcome back. We will be continuing with our CMT Digital session. I would like to welcome company Bürstner from Kehl. Welcome, Mr. Pangel. Nice to have you here. Yes, hello, hello from hello as well. We're looking forward to what you have in store because you read a lot about Bürstner at the moment, and we are reading about compact vehicles, about the van campaign. And um, what I would like to tell you at home um, should be uh, written here, a banner where, there, where an URL is listed. Here you can download the presentations which are shown here with all novelties, all information in German and in English language. So please um, feel free to do download presentations and um, I don't want to steal more of your time. That's why I would just like to give you the floor now. Thank you very much for these nice works of introduction. We'd now like to start with some footage at the beginning to give you an overview of our products in the compact segment. Ladies and gentlemen, you might be amazed at the fact that we at Bürstner, who are settled in the Baden area, we are presenting quite compact vehicles now. Why are we doing this? Well, first of all, because we have a new generation of customers and younger people who are getting more and more interested in our form of vacationing in caravan homes, but who only have a driver's license up to three and a half tons. And of course, the more compact the vehicles are, the easier you stay within the permitted range and the more payload this um, allows. In the past 12 months, we have really done a lot to have new vehicles, create new vehicles in the compact vehicle range. Here's the panoramic view of the six most important vehicles. Our Copa on the left-hand side, very compact, completely new, is fresh for delivery. And they can you can be surprised at what you can see at our dealerships as soon as the lockdown is over. Very compact, um, and I will go into detail later. They're fit for everyday use. You can go to the um, store in the morning and go to the lake in the afternoon. The Campeo is already established in the market, but it now got a brother with all-wheel drive. We have a corporation partner right close to us. We're on the German side, but on the French side, we have a company doing these all-wheel drive conversions. And we started a corporation with them and can now present the first vehicles. It will be available at the dealer soon. On top of that, we have the Elysia, which is a little bit more elegant. Bürstner is f standing for nice interior. And the more compact vehicles get, the, difficult, the more difficult this um, is to achieve. But you will notice that we also have vans that have a more elegant or noble interior. The next bigger novelty, two meters 20 wide and different length versions, that's the Nexo van. Here we have a very sporty interior, so we have the low price segment to make it easier for new customers to um, start in our vacation format. The travel van, which is a bit more elegant, two meters 20 width as well. So novelties you can already see at the dealers, but the Nexo van and the Copa and the all-wheel drive vehicles are fresh, completely fresh. So if you start at the bottom, you see the Campeo models. You see we try to 
cover both the bases of the Campeo as well as the upgrade, which is the sporty active version and the all-wheel drive version. Let's look at the Eliseo, which is the more elegant version. We also have a um, sporty dynamic active version so that we actually cover a wide range of customers. The Copa, which is very compact, and the Copa Active is the more sporty version. Let's take a look at the floor plans. Of course, you can download the, this presentation and look into the floor plans in more detail. But uh, I would just like to give you a detailed overview now. Quite compact is the Copa, and you saw this several times already today. Compact is very um, up to date. Um, now we have a product based on the Ford Transit Custom starting at 39,990 euros. If you go to the do it yourself store in the morning and you go to swimming in the afternoon, this really represents the the use of this vehicle. So there you can also have complete furniture designs and a standard pop-out roof. So you can travel with four people. We have two variants. Um, first of all, the holiday variant. The name already says it. Holiday means um, vacation, so we have a four sleeper. We have two sleeping options because you convert the seat group. We will go into detail here later. And two standard bed um, sleeping um, spaces in the pop-out roof. Then we also have a variant for people who do more mileage. We have up to six individual seats in that, and the kitchen stays inside because this vehicle is basically the bridge between the camper van, which is very compact, and the urban vehicle, which is very compact and um, has a more of an automobile um, character. Let's take a look at a few examples. On the left-hand side, you see the individual seats in the center, the convertible um, seat bench, and then you see the converted status as a double bed. Regarding the furniture, we really focus a lot on modern furniture, which you can see in this, these colors. We don't want to have any wood character. We want to have warm um, colors just to create a feeling of well-being. Of course, we also have um, the claim that in this compact van, we want to have a cooling box with um, 40 liters. We have a two-burner hob. Well, feeling well and living in your van, we try to have the most comfortable sleeping areas. This is the pop-out roof. And be even though it's very compact, we still have the disc spring system. And usually, that's the more expensive variant when you buy furniture. But especially when you're on vacation, you try to sleep in a bit. And we really need to offer the best uh, sleeping conditions for our customers. In a nutshell, it's an all-rounder. The Copa offers everything that you need in your everyday life, but also when you're on vacation with up to four people. Let's move to the next bigger segment. We, for the entrance level and urbanization is, is an important buzzword here. We have less and less space in the city. Parking spots are rare. Our very short versions, and such as the Campeo, we generate a solution where you can convey a certain feeling of um, traveling with a fixed bathroom, fixed kitchen, and good sleeping options. And we went even further because in a cooperation with our all-wheel drive converter, we generated the Campeo 4x4. Vehicles being launched at the moment, and in springtime, you can visit it at your dealers. A very masculine picture here. Of course, you cannot only travel on wet roads, but you can really drive on rough roads as well. And that's really at the focus, this off-road vehicle, so that it's not a fake, but 
has a locking differential of four-wheel drive. The entry price is 52,030 euros. The all-wheel drive is included and 140 PS and the heavy-duty equipment as well. On top of that, you will see that in those packages you have um, a very masculine touch to it by adding these packages. First of all, you can increase the ride height, you can give it a locking differential, and that's 4,980 euros for this off-road package. And we also have an active package for a few um, body features. So. We really try to cater to everyone's needs. Not everyone needs all-wheel drive, but winter camping, all-year camping is getting more and more important. And of course, we would like to cover that as well. The layout, we started with a very compact vehicle, 5 meters 40. We will extend that to 6 meters and 6 meters 40. As I already said, we have very sporty vehicles, and they're usually in the lower mid-price segment. The all-wheel drive, of course, takes its extra price. And then we have the Eliseo, which is the elegant version. We really bring well-being to a different level inside the vehicle and outside. So lots of standard equipment. I don't want to go into every detail because that would be too much for this morning, but we have a 135 liter compressor fridge, so you really can go shopping before you head on the road. And then we have a sky roof, which is optional to give you this feeling of being close to nature. So feeling well in your van, you see a few pictures of the interior showing the sky roof and all the furniture. I would go as far as to say it's upper class and it actually corresponds to what customers in the seg upper segment um, expect. And all of that compressed on a few square meters, which is quite a challenge, but we've mastered it quite well. Now the next bigger class, it's the genuine motorhome covering 2 meters 20 width, still very compact. In our industry, 2 meter 30 is the standard. And this is a little bit more sporty Nexo van, the travel van as well. I will start with the travel van because it's a vehicle which has been well positioned in the market for years and many people love this van. Two meters 20 width and some features that, um, such as the high quality lighting concept, high quality upholstery and so on, just to give you a few features. In the Harmony line version, we have a lot of standard equipment in it already with a price advantage. Why do we do this? Because we want to make life easier for starters. We don't need frills. We just need um, chassis st equipment, which is important for long traveling, long journeys. And of course, um, some features as far as the body are, are concerned, which um, will be very interesting for the end customer. A few furniture designs you see when you're looking from the rear to the front and to the seat groups, we have our own uh, carpentry or joinery in Kiel because we really focus on that. We want to have fresh and modern colors which are not found everywhere in the segment. And we dare to do that because we want to focus on the future, having a modern vehicle. The Nexo van, which is a sporty van, which is a bit more aggressive as far as the price is concerned, to make it easier for new customers looking for compact vehicles to purchase these vehicles. The Nexo van, of course, compact is at the foreground. It's The base vehicle is a Citroen. It's just a sporty supplement to the travel van. So very wide product portfolio, and Bursner always stands for new ideas regarding the layout. 
standard. We don't only offer the standard transfers and longitudinal beds which are available everywhere in our segment, but we also dare to offer compact versions that still include everything you need. We have French beds and the 569 on the left-hand side. We also have a very compact variable bath with a very good shower function. This extends up to the seven meter limit with a queen's bed or an island bed at the center. You can access the bed from both sides. And this bed type is gaining more and more popularity in Germany. Small excerpt from our fabric portfolio, we really emphasize fabric so that our customers feel at home, feel at ease in our vehicles. What I want to point out here is that in these compact motorhomes, you can still live and drive well, especially as someone starting in this um, segment, they always fear they will not get a three-room apartment onto these 12 square meters. Of course, we have to work with unconventional ideas such as variable roof, uh, baths, where you can swivel out the wash basin. We have um, 80 times 80 shower, almost like at home. And um, we also say that with this overall package, we want to demonstrate that Bürstner has a complete, a full portfolio. Of course, we don't only offer these compact vehicles. Of course, we also have caravans in our product portfolio. But that was the good time to demonstrate how we make it easier for new customers, those who need to stay within the 3.5 ton limit, that they can still get a complete package. And of course, we have standard motorhomes up to 9 meters or 9 meter 20. So a short introduction of uh, what I was going to show to you, and it will be available at the dealership soon. I would be welcoming it if you joined the Bürstner company there. Thanks very much. Thanks to you for part A. We have, of course, um, first questions that came up. You said it will be available at the dealerships. The question that came up is, if you opt for a purchase, when will these vehicles be delivered? Well, we must say we have a large run on this type of um, vacationing. Of course, that's an incredible joy. We have growth rates, and you see that in the statistics. So if customers want to have a specific layout of a specific model series, then unfortunately, and this is the sad part about it, it can take up to one year, the delivery time. But um, I deliberately say so, our dealers do have vehicles in stock where you may, my, may have to be a little more flexible as a customer. OK, it's a twin bed vehicle, but maybe it's 10 centimeters shorter. I guess every customer will be able to find the right version at their dealerships. But if you have very specific requests, then the waiting time goes up to one year. Professor Lohmann already pointed it out this morning. Because of the pandemic, caravanning is really um, on the rise right now. I mean, even before that, the pandemic was just a catalytic converter of that. So Bürstner is present in the radio as well. Maybe a question, what do you tell people who want to drive caravans for the first time or drive motorhomes for the first time? What do they need to take into account? Well, one buzzword is rental. I can advise every customer who wants to test this type of vacationing, go to our rental services. And that's a nice thing, especially in Germany. We have a high density of dealers who rent out motorhomes and vans. And we have many dealerships with large rental services. So there you can test a specific vehicle. You might say, I could imagine this vehicle with this floor plan. Rent this vehicle, test it, and just get your own opinion. I mean, you might have to rent another version, a compact version, or 
larger version until you have made your decision. But um, vehicle, camping sites, campgrounds, the easiest way to approach this is via rental services. And every dealership basically has a rental service attached. That sounds good. I see more questions have come up, but we're running out of time. So I would first like to thank you, Mr. Pangal, for having taken us on this uh, trip through um, your product portfolio. We will be hearing more from you and seeing more novelties. We're looking forward to that. And everyone who's joining us from their home screens, please just Take your questions to the brand space from Burstner. Ask your questions there, and the colleagues from Burstner will be responding to them online in the chat. Thanks very much. Thanks to you. We'll have a short break, and we'll continue soon with the next presentation.